title of this mini podcast is Reconditioning Your Conditioning. The grasshopper had this to say today. When it comes to responding, your conditioning comes first. Have you ever spontaneously said something to yourself or someone else that you instantly followed with? That was an awful thing for me to say. And then you felt bad about it? That instant response was your conditioning showing itself. You may have intellectually evolved on the topic your conditioning was commenting on, but your conditioning hasn't caught up yet. It happens to me all the time. I'll have a thought pop in my head or out of my mouth that isn't something I currently believe, but maybe one time I did. I'm sure you have your own examples. Here's something I've trained myself to do that leaves me with a much better feeling. Instead of feeling awful for saying something I no longer believe, I laugh at myself. The laughter interrupts the pattern of feeling bad and highlights how silly I was to believe that something in the first place. I don't beat myself up about something I really have no control over. It would be like castigating yourself for sneezing. This laughter response works well in other areas as well. Maybe you know someone who does this. They accidentally do something and then throw a fit that it happened. Maybe they utter, oh, I'm such an idiot, or they throw something or kick the thing that caused their accident. That's conditioning at play. I've often said if people could see themselves on video being angry, they'd be angry less often. If you can recondition yourself to laugh at your accidental foibles, you can save yourself a lot of unnecessary angst. The process begins by interrupting your conditioned response while it's happening, and then laugh. Each time you do this, you get closer to having a different response to your conditioning, one that leaves you in a better frame of mind. All the best, John.